Welcome back to episode number two of the Shattered Relics League Road to Soloing Next series. I am going to now start the video by throwing all the Chinchompas I got in my last episode to 83 Hunter. Might also go back and catch more Black Chinchompas to get even more ranged experience. But let's see how far we can go with the ones I have. Oh my god, look at these experience drops. 1.3k, 1.2k, and this is just great in Chompas. At 55 I can use these red, which have uh, quite higher stats. I hope that these red chins are going to be enough for 65 ranged, otherwise I will have to get some more red chins, because I don't want to train normally when this is the experience rates I'm getting with chins. Oh my god, that's the first hard clue skull for the account. So that's actually really good because I am planning on doing quite a lot of hard clues to get my ranged gear, the blessed dehyde, magic shortbow and stuff like that. So hopefully we can uh, try to do that in a bit. Yep, I am out of chins. I'm going to have to go and get some more, but I'm pretty close to 63. So I only need to get uh, maybe like... 40, 50 red chins. This is a monumental moment. I am going to get the tier 3 Chinchonker relic upgrade. I click this and there it is. It is also some Sage's Renown. Max out one fragment. And now I am going to get two Chinchompas every time I catch one. Look at this. I have 105. Let's click on it. 107. That is going to help me get 99 ranged ridiculously fast. No way, it gives me double experience? 8.5k? I actually thought it would not give me double experience, but uh, oh my god. I could get 9900 whenever I want to and just barehand everything. Uh, I don't really have to go to Pura Pura anymore, I guess. On black chance, I'm going to get like 11,000 experience each catch. That is ridiculous. Now, if the Chinchompa fragment actually gives double experience when I catch two, I am thinking that most likely... The uh, double tap one, after successful ranged attack, you have a chance to roll another ranged attack. 30% chance. That might also give you the uh, double experience when it procs. So 30% of the time, I'm going to get double ranged experience. If that works, I should be getting so many levels. I'm going to be doing defensive casting because I want to get to at least 40 defense to be able to equip like Black Dragonite and stuff like that. Oh my god, look at these drops. <laughs> This is incredible experience. That has to be because of this relic fragment. I think I'm going to be doing defensive casting for all these 347 black chins and the future ones as well. Because I might as well train ranged and defense at the same time. I need both of them to 99. But that is 65. And now it is time. I have all the renown I needed, the sage's renown, to unlock Dragon Slayer. The reason why is because then I can buy a green dehyde body. Wait, what? Oh, I have to be at a bank. That is awkward. Here we go, this should be uh, it. And I'm not really worried about 10 points. I mean, I have so many easy challenges left to do. And uh, I don't really want to do Dragon Slayer 1, to be honest with you. But yeah, now I should be able to buy the green Dragonite chaps and body. Which is going to help me get some more experience with these chins. Well, I kind of had that the wrong way. You need 32 quest points to go in there. But uh, to trade this guy to be able to buy the green Dragonite body is... What you need Dragon Slayer for. So it wasn't a waste to unlock it. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to actually get 32 quest points right now. I'm only at 24. I could do it pretty quickly. But uh, I think Studded Chaps is going to be fine anyways. Plus 15 range. Not bad. Oh, and that was a 125 point task to equip 250 Black Chins. And 4 Sages Renown. Pretty much got half of the Sages Renown back that I just spent. Before I went back to Chenning, I actually wanted to get 57 Thieving, because if I get that, I can use the Grubby Keys for ranged potions, prayer potions, all that good stuff. But um, I just realized, why am I doing fruit stalls? There's a quest called The Feud that is very easy, that gives 15,000 Thieving experience. That's going to be times 8. That should literally get me to 57 right away. If it doesn't, it should be very close. Alright, let's see how close we can get to 57. Okay, let's just uh, do that. And that should be the quest completed. Pretty close to 56. Yeah, that's not that bad. I missed out the experience drop, but it surely was over 100k. So let's just uh, get two more levels. Let's see if we can get lucky. The best things are pay potions and ranging pots. So let's see what we get. And we get supersets, 5 points as well for that. Dragon door tips, not really what I wanted. Let's see what the second one is. And that is the range potion. Perfect. And some astral runes as well. 
But yeah, the range pots are going to help with experience rates quite a lot, and I am going to definitely get quite a lot more grubby keys during this grind. Got two more grubby keys, and we're up to 69 ranged and 50 defense. Actually, stop that 50 defense. I'm just going to focus on ranged. When I have high ranged, I might defense throw to level defense, but uh, better to get a high ranged first, I think. But let's see what we can get from these. First one is ranging potion again, very nice. And some prey pots, please. Ooh, Saradomin Bruise, and actually a Super Restore, so that's good. And that is the last Black Chinchompa, and I got all the way to 71, almost 72 ranged. I'm actually going to take a break now, I do need to do some AFKing, so what I'm going to do is, I'm actually just going to do a couple of AFK tasks, and I'm going to start maybe working on unlocking Herb Lore, because I have so many herbs now from doing this. So it's time to unlock the fourth Relic Fragment slot. Let's just mine this Copper Ore with a Steel Pickaxe, and that is going to be the last points I need. Tier 4 is now reached, and also got the Grave Robber Fragment, which is not that good. But um, yeah, I'm going to be AFKing some mining, getting some total levels. I'm 14, so soon I can do Iron. And there's a couple of tasks I can get done here as well. 1.5k point is not that bad to the next relic, and if we go actually into the fragments, the passive effect I got now is uh, right here. It is items from sources will be two times as common, and then also a random skilling fragment, which was the grave robber I got. But at the next one, in 1.5k points, I get 12 times the experience, which is of course pretty big compared to 8. Because the next relic is an XP increase, I really want to get that before I go and hunt more chins and also go for higher range level. It's of course going to speed it up by quite a bit, getting 99 hunter and 99 ranged as well. So what I'm going to do is, I haven't really focused at all on tasks so far, so there's a lot of easy tasks I can complete. Already done a couple, but 1.4k points should be surprisingly easy to get. Obi Cape? Nah, Toko, but it is a task, but there is actually a big task to get the Obsidian Cape, so could do that sometime in the future. Should be able to complete three tasks in like two seconds here. Get one task from Vanaka, Ogres, interesting. And now check the gem, that is another task, and equip a spiny helmet is another task. So I was actually going to unlock Herb Lore, but I had 40 Renown, I unlocked Attack, and I'm also going to unlock Strength, and I'm actually going to do quite a bit of quests that give experience in those, like Tree Gnome Village, Waterfall Quest, Fight Arena. I think they might be tasks in themselves, but uh, all the total levels I get from just leveling these up, and also uh, there's quite a lot of things that is kind of annoying to do with magic and ranged. So having melee, like Slayer, is going to be very nice. 110k attack and strength, so 1 attack and strength all the way to 50. Nice and even number, and that is now 750 total. Any other tasks? Nope. Finally, I've been looking for this for so long, I world hopped here actually for a while. I don't have Lost City completed, so I actually had to find a random just uh, crop circle. And now we can actually do Puro Puro, and uh, this is going to be some nice points, maybe find some Magpie Implings, Ninja Implings, yeah, a lot of good stuff here, maybe even a Dragon Imp. Look at that, already collected 5 Magpie Implings, and the best things I can get from them is a Mystic Item for just a task, and a Power Amulet, and in general just Alkibos, let's see if we can get any of that. First one, Split Bark Gauntlet, don't think that is a task, nope. Uh, Dragon Dagger, decent Alk actually, how much is it? 18k, not bad. Diamonds. Can we get Ring of Life? I guess it's something. I don't have any good rings. Power Amulet, please. Oh, Hard Clue Skull. That's kind of rare. That's like 1 in 50. Pineapple Seed. Guess we have to hunt more. And that is 50 Implings caught for uh, 25 League Points. Managed to get the Diamond Amulets from these. And uh, I can actually enchant that. So that is my Power Amulet covered. And uh, other than that, nothing too interesting, I guess. Oh, there we go. I got the Mystic Boots from a Magpie Impling. I think this should be a task. Let's equip that. Yes, it is. For 25 points. After two and a half hours, I did not find a Dragon Impling, unfortunately, but I did get the Power Amulet Enchanted. Also got the Red Spiky Van Braces and Mystic Boots. I'm happy with that. Also completed a couple of Clue Scrolls that I collected from that. Let's see if we can get any tasks for this. And of course, I get an Amulet of Power from the first one I do. And the second one... Oh! Strength Amulet T! That is a unique, and I think, actually, equipping that is another task. Yes, equip a trimmed amulet. Very nice. Now, the things I want from Hard Clue Scroll is Black Dehyde, Magic Shortbow, Blessed Dehyde, stuff like that. And we get none of that. 
I think this is a good time to unlock Herblore. I have 44 Sages Renown, so I will still keep 14 afterwards. And uh, there's, of course, a bunch of Herblore tasks as well, so I should get my Renown back pretty quickly. And uh, I have a lot of levels to get in Herblore, so my total level should go up quite a bit. Now, at this point, I have 710 League points until the next Relic, aka the 12 times experience. But there is two tasks, equip 500 Black Chins and 1000 Black Chins. If I get that, I should also actually at the same time get both 90 and maybe 99 Hunter while doing that. So that should be a lot of points, so initially I was going to wait until the 12 times to do Hunter, but I think I might actually just do it now. <laughs> Look at this dangerous man, logs in beside me with a DDS scald looking like that. Oh my god, I've killed three people. Sheesh. Actually, a pretty big task. I'm going to get 90 Hunter, and that is going to be 125 points. I'm not sure, but I think 95 is also 125 points. Yes, it is. Very nice. All right, here we finally go. This is the last Black Chin Chumpa for 99 Hunter. First 99 of the account, another 125 points. And of course, at the same time, I get attacked, and I really don't want to die, because if I die, I lose all the chance should be fine though it's very close oh my god look at that 1922 black chins i do want to unlock monkey madness too before i actually use them because the experience there is just so much better than anywhere else it's very expensive though but i have quite a few quests here i could do before i actually unlock this like the grand tree tree non village maybe death plateau maybe some easy ones to save some points now before that though 285 points to the next tier let's just equip this look at this Two tasks for 125 points, we are now only 35 points away from the next relic. From 50 to 56 attack from the tree gnome village, but before I do any more questing actually, I want to get these last 30 points, because why not get 12 times the experience from the quest instead of 8? And by entering the wizard guild, I got 25 points and that is now the next relic slot unlocked. So we also got Thrall damage, which is very interesting. This is actually one of the relics I might use at next in the future, because it is really good. If I go here, oh, I already have it. Let's go here. So Thralls do 100% higher max hits, and it goes all the way to 300%. Uh, but otherwise, I think the set effect might not be the best thing, but uh, yeah, this is really good. But now we have 12 times experience. And there we go, that's the Grand Tree completed. Got all the way to 64 attack, almost 60 agility as well. 60 agility is very nice, I might finish that off because there's a couple of tasks for that. Another thing I immediately wanted to do after getting that 12 times experience is the Holy Grail, so the Merlin's Crystal quest, and look at that. Almost 200,000 defense and like 135k prayer. How many levels am I going to get? All the way to 60 defense and 57 prayer, and also 75 combat. It is now time to unlock Monkey Madness 2 and use all of these close to 2000 Chinchompas. I am really excited to see what range level I'm going to end at. 38 Sages Renown, that is now unlocked. Knife's Edge Relic, that increases my damage for the lower HP I have. So I got myself to 14 HP, don't want to risk dying, got the double tap one. So let's see the experience here. 5k for one throw, almost 6k. Yeah, this is going to be some nice experience. Now, if you're doing this, I have a big advice to you guys. You should use the menu entry swapper if you go over here and you need to tick deprioritize menu hidden items. If I do that, the items I have highlighted is going to be on the top here. And that is very important because you get a lot of these fragments and of course the prayer potions as well. Make sure you mark them and then put them on the top with the menu entry swapper. Otherwise, it is going to be almost impossible sometimes to uh, loot the fragments. And that was the last Chin Chomp I used. Look at this XP counter. 10.3 million ranged experience, which uh, landed me at 97 halfway to 98. Kind of interested in seeing what rank I currently am. Oh, nice. Rank 8 ranged in the league. Not bad. Very few people. Only three people actually are 99 currently. That's surprising. I thought more people would go for this route, but uh, yeah, nice.
that is why I'm going to end the video at 3.2k league points, 938 total with 97 range and 99 hunter. Also got to 86 hit points, ridiculously good. In the next one, I'm going to try to do some fire making, get some hard clue scrolls from the hot on the trail relic, and do a bunch of hard and medium clue scrolls to try to get either ranger boots or bless the hide, magic short bow, ranged equipment in general. I can't be running around looking like this. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, guys, take care.